Hey all, Sean here from Tesla Family. I've had my Tesla Powerwall further offsetting my home's energy needs for six months now. It's been an amazing six months and I've got a lot of really fun data to share with you. In this video, I wanna share the six month Powerwall performance numbers with you and show you how adding a Powerwall to my home has lowered my home's grid demand. You'll see in this video my solar offset, a distribution of my solar production to my home, my power wall, and to the grid, my total energy charged to and discharged from my power wall, my power wall's efficiency over the six months, my energy value, and the number of backup events. All right, let's jump in. Before we get started with the Powerwall six month performance review video, I wanna plug a few of my other videos here that you may find interesting and helpful. Starting off with my first year Tesla solar review and my top five favorite things about Tesla solar. This is a fun video I put together last summer. And if you're interested in learning more about Tesla solar, definitely check out this video at the link above. Moving on, I have several videos on my Powerwall starting off with the referral Powerwall installation video. It's a fun installation video with some time lapse. I also have a video that tells you how I earned my Powerwall for free with the Tesla referral program and my day one performance, a pretty popular video I put together showing my 100% self-powered on day one performance with my Tesla Powerwall. And you can find these additional Powerwall videos along with other solar videos in my Tesla Solar and Powerwall playlist at the link above. Okay, getting on with the Tesla Powerwall six month review video. Again, I have a 7.56 kilowatt solar panel system and I have one 13.5 kilowatt hour Powerwall in my home. And the six month performance video is during the cold season of the year. The six months covers October 2021 until March 2022. So you can expect lower performance numbers than we would see in the warm season months of the summertime here in North America. I have two screenshots here on the left hand side from my Tesla solar app. The first one on the left is of the impact screen showing my percent of self powered after adding my Tesla Powerwall to my Tesla solar panel system. Again, just recapping, my Tesla solar was installed in June, late June of 2020, and I added my Powerwall a little over a year later in late September 2021. So during this six month period, I was 50% self-powered, with my home being powered 24% of its usage in that six month period by solar, 26% of, of my home usage covered by the power wall discharging and 50% from the grid. And on the right hand side, the impact screen showing a 74% energy offset during these winter months. This offset usually rises above 100%. In fact, if you watch my solar video, you'll see I'm around 110% offset for an entire year, but for the cold months, 74% offset with about 3.6 megawatt hours solar generation versus my 4.9 megawatt hours of my home usage during that time. Moving on to two additional screens from my Tesla solar app, solar generation and home usage. Breaking down where the solar energy went to as it came into my panels, about 36% of my solar went straight to my home to power my home. 31% of my solar went to charging my power wall and 33% of my solar went right back to the grid. The order of operation for solar when it comes into your home through the panels is first, the energy is used to power your home. Then if you have power wall, the extra energy above your home's requirement will go to charging your power wall. And then once your power wall is charged and your home usage is satisfied, any additional energy coming into your home goes back to the grid and where you can earn credits for future usage. My home's usage during this time was covered about 47% green, clean energy, with 26% of that being from solar power, 21% being from 
power wall, usually overnight, and I was able to get my grid usage down to around 52% of my home's usage for the six month period. And moving on to my net grid usage and my Powerwall discharge screens from the Tesla Solar app. So my net grid usage, which would be my total grid usage subtracted by how much solar I put back into the grid was 1,410 kilowatt hours during the six month period, which cost me around $208. That was my total electric costs for six months during the winter time, which is much lower than it was before I had solar and power wall. That would have been up closer to six or $700 if I didn't have the panels and the power wall installed. My power wall energy discharge during this time was 1,040 kilowatt hours, and I calculated a power wall efficiency at a 20% reserve of 93% efficiency. The 7% of the power wall inefficiency would be going into maintaining power walls, uh, heating and cooling cycles, so, because power wall likes to maintain an optimal temperature. And I calculated the efficiency by dividing the, the total energy discharged by the total solar that went to charging my power wall. You'll notice these arrows point at a very, very small amount of grid energy imported to my power wall on the left, and then on the right where we see the charging of the power wall mostly by solar with the yellow line but the small little gray area here where power wall was charged by the grid and that would be due to storm watch mode and if you want to learn more about storm watch mode which is a excellent feature that ensures that your power wall is fully charged ahead of a severe weather event then check out the link to this video above Back to the impact screen where I want to show you the energy value of having a power wall added onto my Tesla solar system. My energy value for the six month period was $371. What is energy value? Energy value is an estimate of the money you didn't have to pay your utility. So calculating the $208 that I did pay the utility plus my energy value that I would have had to pay yeah, my electric bill would have been closer to $600 during that time period. And then talking about backup history. So one of Powerwall's features is that you do have backup capability for your home when you have power outages. During the six month period, we had five events. One, I'm actually not gonna count on installation day there back in September 29th, that 10 minutes was a mock outage that was set up by the installers just to test my system. So really October 23rd, 31st, December 17th and March 12th, very small five minute uh, losses of power recorded by Powerwall to my home where Powerwall provided backup for around five minutes each time. So a total of 20 minutes of backup history. We don't get a lot of power outages at my home in this area, but I'm sure glad to have Powerwall here just in case we do get that big storm coming through that knocks down power in my neighborhood because Powerwall should be able to provide backup for at least a day with my single power wall. All right, now I want to show you one last thing here. How many power walls would I need for 100% or more of my energy offset? So I showed you before that I was around 50% of my energy needs were covered by Tesla Solar and Power Wall. How many more power walls would I want to add to my system to get 100 plus percent offset? Well, to calculate this, I took my six month net grid usage with my current solar and single power wall, which was 14. 10 kilowatt hours and I divided that by my six month cold season power wall discharge which was 1040 kilowatt hours and that comes out to an additional 1.35 power walls needed for a hundred percent offset so in order to add an additional 1.35 or we'll just call it two so we would say we would add two power walls to my system uh, Tesla will require me to add some additional solar at I'm pretty sure that you can't add only power walls to your system. You have to tie it in with some solar. So just taking a quick look at the Tesla website, I could add a small array of around 10 panels, a 4.8 kilowatt system, a second system to my roof, plus two power wall batteries for a total cost of $28,560. But look at this, the number below was even better. After potential incentives, only my cost out the door to add two power walls and a 4.8 kilowatt hour 
array, only $14,791, which was cheaper than my total solar system, which I paid $18,000 for back in 2020. Well, I hope you found this video very informative. Definitely give me a like and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Make sure to subscribe if you like this content from Tesla Family on my solar and power wall performance. I also have many other videos on my Tesla Model 3 and battery powered lawn equipment as well. So uh, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you at the next video. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to Tesla Family Channel here on YouTube. We really appreciate all of our subscribers and everyone who watches our videos. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you soon. Check out all of our other videos as well. Also, follow us on Twitter at Tesla Family Chan. Use my referral code to buy Tesla solar roof or solar panels. You'll get a reward after system activation.